definitely fits hidden message intent, that's for sure. I don't see anything really written on it. Just very odd. Yeah, it's like, you guys see this? It's like, uh, I don't know. It's like, it's like something got cut off here. No, dude, that's my bike. That's my bike. No, hey. Guys, welcome back to another Rananautica today. I am out here. It is a gorgeous winter day. You know, you don't hear those sent those words in the same sentence usually, but it is a gorgeous winter day today. Um, it's hard to believe it's winter because I think it's like 65 out, and yet we're out here. We're out here doing Rananautica. We're out here wearing a hoodie. We're out here on the bike. So I'll take it. I'll take it. If winter's like this, it's good with me. Anyways, guys, I'll shut up. We'll get into that intro and uh, we'll get to Rananautica. Right, guys so like I said we are out here today we are out here I have already set an intent and I'm at the point almost at the point uh, this one's from April Ross and April Ross continuing off of the uh, dark web video we set the intent for cursed object I think curse or haunted object sorry April I know it's one of those two I'll put it up on the screen for you guys so we're doing that because you know like I said we got a haunted, we got a curse, or a, it's supposedly a mystery box filled with cursed objects the other day. And uh, so we're continuing off of that in the same vein. Um, so yeah, we got the point and we're gonna go out there and see what it is. But first guys, if you're new here, make sure you go on there, hit that subscribe button for me right now. Uh, I think that you guys will like the videos um, and yeah, so it helps me out a lot. My And the returning subscribers, the Cursed Crew, make sure to go down there, hit that like button, leave me a comment. Let's say, Rananautica finally on a nice day today. Yeah, let's do that. Hashtag Rananautica's a, ni a Rananautica nice day. Something like that. Some variation of those. Be creative. Uh, and uh, yeah, Rananautica, hashtag Rananautica nice day. So I don't know. Do whatever you want. Leave a comment like that if you're ready for today's video. Um, and yeah, let's get to it. So, let's see. So today, as I said, we have taken the Harley out. This is the first time I've had old girl out in, oh man, in in a while. In, since since November, I believe, right before Thanksgiving is the last time I rolled, rode old girl. And uh, yeah, you gotta excuse it, it's, it's, still, it's still dirty. I put it away dirty, I know, bad, bad me, terrible motorcycle owner, but yeah, we got, we got it out today, um, and, uh, and yeah, um, you know, I just noticed that there is a motorcycle helmet on this bench, and it is definitely not mine. I'm, well, I'm not going to mess with it because there's a lot of people here. Maybe it's somebody else's. Maybe somebody left it here. I don't know. I'm not going to worry myself too much about it. But, huh, I just noticed that. It looks like somebody, somebody either forgot it here or... I don't know, they're off doing something, but I don't see any other bikes here close by. Huh, odd. Okay, yeah, whatever. Anyways, let's head out to the point. Point's right down here. Actually, it's along this this uh, this river, or this stream bank a little ways. So we're gonna walk down here. Look at this tree, dude. This thing's crazy. 
Look at this. It's like a, it's like a secret door almost. I'm scared to like look in it. Feels like there's gonna be like bats and stuff in there. I don't see anything. But yeah, so guys, also a very, very unfortunate note. This is the last video you guys will see with me using Big Mama, which is my Panasonic S1H. I am cutting Big Mama loose to a new home. Um, I need to get rid of it because, uh, yeah, because Max and I are in the process of working on a movie and I need to buy an actual cinema camera. I mean, this one is like an entry level cinema camera, but we want the real, like the actual, not, I shouldn't say real because this is a real one, but we want an actual like dedicated cinema camera. And uh, oh man, I am filming in 4K right now. That's not good. That is not good. I need to change that soon or else I am going to rip through battery and storage. Yo, you see that? like focus on it that's one thing i'm not going to miss about this camera is its ability to not focus on the simplest things that's weird dude it's just like it's like a inflatable ball just floating down the stream dude that's that's straight up that's giving me major like it vibes, like for real. I don't know why, maybe. I don't know, that's, that's weird. All right, so we are about at the point so I don't know, maybe that is our intent right there, that ball. It could be a cursed object from how it's floating down the stream. It is kind of weird. All right. We're, we're at the point, I think we're a little bit past the point. It's so time to start hunting, see if we get a cursed or a haunted object anywhere around here. I'm hoping we get something. Anyways, what were we talking about before while I look for this? Oh yeah, cinema camera, yeah. So yeah, this is the last video I'm filming with Big Mama. So everybody say goodbye, goodbye Big Mama, you've been good to us. Um, but I still have my Sony, still have my Sony A7S II. So I'm going to be filming with that um, once I get a new lens for it. And uh, I am taking donations for lenses, so if you guys would like to donate... <laughs> No, I'm just kidding. I mean, if you want to, if you want to donate, help me out, get a new lens for the A7S, go ahead and buy some merch. Relentlessdark.square.site. Link is in the description. Um, but yeah, buy some merch. Don't, don't just donate money. Get, get, get something, get something cool for yourself out of it. Unless you want to donate. I mean, that's fine too, but, but also don't feel the need to give anything at all. I appreciate all the channel members, all the patrons. But, like, never feel obligated to donate. I love you guys all the same. Um, whether it's a like or, you know, a channel membership, it all, it all helps move the channel forward, helps the channel grow, helps me make better content. So, it's always, you know, it's always appreciated. Everything you guys do. Can't thank you guys enough. Curse Durbin would not be where it is today without you guys. Ow, dude! Every day, there's a thorn bush. Just ca caught it on my jeans. All right, I'm gonna venture in here a little bit because I do not see, I do not see an intent anywhere. He's, he is somewhere in here.
Because this looks like it's been like... Oh man. Let's go check out that. Let's go check out that, that thing as well. That beach ball. Dude, I do not... I think that's our intent. I really don't see anything else. Watch out, dude. There's thorns. Ow. Everywhere. Ow. Hmm. Maybe we're not going to check out the ball because, yeah, these are just ripping it, ripping up my pants. See, there's one, literally one stuck on me right now. Gotta be more careful where I walk, I guess. Ah, come on. Well, either way, that ball's way out there. It's across the stream, so I'm not, I'm not getting to it. Um. All right, well, I guess we'll, we'll take this as kind of an L, kind of a W. We found something. I got attacked by thorn bushes, and uh, yeah. So, okay, haunted object, cursed object, that ball. Ugh. Gotta make my way out of here without being stabbed to absolute death by these trees, by these thorn bushes. Oh, okay. 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 Here we go. All right. Oh, there's a fireball, the whole fireball thing. But yeah, I'm not seeing anything. I'm gonna take one more, one more pass by this. And, oh. And if we don't see anything, we don't see anything. All right, so, um, oh, also, what else can I talk to you guys about? So you're not just bored to death looking at this stuff. Um, so guys. I have started a new channel. Well, it's a new old channel, kind of what we did with um, Cursed Urban Dark Web. Um, and what it is, is it's for Randonautica only. Um, it's just called uh, Cursed Urban Randonautica. Link will be in the description. If you guys could go over there, do me a huge favor, subscribe to that channel. Um, well, what we're doing with that is I'm uploading Randonauticas from the very beginning. So if you are a new subscriber, if you haven't seen all the videos, or maybe you guys just want you know to watch them again, check that out. I'm uploading one of our uh, older Randonauticas every other day, um, starting from the very beginning with Max, with Lorenzo, with everybody. And yeah, I'm gonna upload that. Um, new videos, new Randonauticas will be only on this channel. I will not be putting the new Randonauticas like the one you're seeing on that channel ever. So, um, yeah, so don't, don't unsubscribe to this. <laughs> new Randonauticas will be going here. This is just purely for our old Randonauticas. They'll be there. Um, and yeah, so make sure to do that. Hearst Urban Randonautica. Link is in the description. Do me a favor. Go down there. Subscribe. Get to it. Um. So yeah, I guess that ball was our intent. I don't see anything else. Uh, cool. Cursed object, probably better to be left where, where it sits. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set another intent right here. And uh, I'm gonna set my radius wide. Like I said, I'm out riding. I'm out riding, I like riding. So I don't mind if I have to ride 10 kilometers to find another intention, so. 
that is what we will do. I want to know who the owner of this home is. It's really bizarre. It's still here. It's still here, so. All right, let's do it. All right, guys, so I just set another intent, and uh, it just gave me a point literally right up there. So maybe we'll have a little bit more success this time. I don't know. Fingers are crossed. Um, but this intent is from Quinn and Quinn. I, I'm sorry, Quinn. I forgot your last name. I, I don't. I think I don't think I could pronounce your last name. I mean, I could try, but I'll butcher it. And yeah, you know, you know that is terrible with last names. Um. Anyways, so we're doing Quinn's intent of hidden message. So it, yeah, there's a point literally right there. So I'm glad I ran another one before I left this area. Um, hopefully we will find something good. Hidden message. It's like, that sounds like it should be a good one. And uh, if you noticed a quality decrease, I don't think you guys should have. I bumped it back down to uh, full HD 1080 instead of, instead of uh, um, 4K. Cause yeah, 4K just chews through my storage, chews through the battery. And uh, yeah, it's no good. So, oh, walking up here. All right, so we're out here. Thankfully, we're pretty close too. I wanted to keep an eye on my bike. I definitely wanted to keep an eye on the yellow helmet. Um, just, just in case, see who the owner is. Or if the owner comes back for it. All right. So, we're converging on a point right now. Like I said, it was really close. Like, you can see through the trees right there. That's where the last point was. Now this one, it's just up here. All right. I think we've arrived. So take a look around. Hidden message. So it could be an actual hidden message or it could be a message that is hidden, like physically hidden, like under these trees or something. I think someone's coming to pick up that helmet. Somebody just stopped by it. Yo, there's something right there. What's this? Ugh, fringe, the plate. What is that? That's really, that's really interesting. I'm, I'm sorry, like I'm trying to, uh, trying to process this. What do you think this guy, what it, this, this is guys? Let me give you another good shot of it. Is it some sort of code? 
Definitely fits hidden message intent, that's for sure. Look at this. Huh. What could this mean? Sorry, I'm I'm like sorry, I'm for the lack of words. I'm like per perplexed by this. It looks like that uh like that language they use in Star Wars. I have no idea what this is. It says Mr. and Mrs. So I'm guessing it's some type of like wedding thing or just like I don't know. I don't know. I have no idea. Guys, what is this? What is this? And do you have any idea what this means? Like is this some type of code? I'm guessing it's a code. Or like maybe like numbers or something. I don't know, dude. That's really weird. We'll go, we'll go look at it a little bit in, in more depth down here. But, uh, I'm just stick in my pocket for now. Yeah, that's very odd. Well, I mean, that's, that's, the, the nail has been hit directly on the head. Um, that is a, and the helmet is gone. Huh. Yeah, there's my bike and that's where that helmet was and it's gone, which I saw a car, I saw a car pull up like real slow by it. Um, I thought they were like checking out my bike or something and, uh, I saw a car pull up really slow by it. And then, yeah, so they must have grabbed it. Somebody must have just straight up left it here. Which, how do you forget your helmet? That doesn't make any sense. Like, like, how do you set your helmet down and then just get on the bike and just like, oh, I forgot this giant piece of plastic and foam that usually encapsules my head. Like, how does that, how does that work? How does that happen? I don't know. I don't know how you forget your helmet. I never forget mine, so... Okay, set this out on the table and have a look at it real quick and see if we can make any any type of sense of it. Okay, so it looks like C E K upside down A R L L V E E. I don't know. I'm I'm guessing that's not actually what it is, but that's that's how it looks. So let dude, let me know in the comments right now, or even in like the uh, if if I do a premiere of this on the premiere chat, what you think that is? Because I am. I am lost. I am lost right now. I don't know. Okay, maybe is there anything else? Looks like some type of like riddle or cipher or secret code or I don't know. That's gonna bother me though. I don't even know what to like. I want to just like Google it, but I don't even know what like what even to begin with to Google it. Like secret codes. <laughs> like I, I don't know. I don't know. Um. Huh. Okay. Well. Thank you, Quinn. We definitely got a hidden message with this one. And uh, whoever cracks this first gets uh, 100 billion Cursed Urban Points. Uh, cursed Urban Points don't uh, do anything. Uh, with 100 billion, you can afford like a uh, Hershey's Kiss from the official Cursed Urban uh, website. No, I'm just kidding. Um, cursed Urban Points are a joke. But no, seriously, whoever can figure this out, just let me know. Like, I'll give you, I'll pin your comment or give you a shout out or whatever in the next video. So, all right. Uh, well, we got that. I guess we'll run another intent and uh, keep going and see what we get before the 
before the sun goes down. All right, guys. So this next intent is from Rain Fourteen, and it was it was funny. I got a chuckle out of it. This intent is stalkers, no stalking. Um, so thank you very much, Rain. It actually brought us to an area I have been at before. Uh, you guys will probably recognize this as soon as I flip the camera around. It was like a few miles from where I was, and uh, yeah. So let's go check it out. Um, yeah, the point is like right here, right where the sign is. And we'll, we'll go around and we'll see what we can find. So stalkers, ow, dude, are you kidding me? You gotta be kidding me right now. Bro, I cannot get rid of these stupid dude i literally have a thorn a, like a part of a thorn bush embedded in my finger and it hurts it doesn't hurt that bad it kind of stings like a paper cut maybe not even that bad but still like i like grab my camera i just felt this pain and yep there it is yeah dude you gotta be, i literally cannot get rid of these thorn bushes or or quit being harassed by them for anything that you know what that's it today if this if there's another intent in the woods i ain't doing it sorry sorry whoever puts an intent and if it, it gives me a point in the woods nope not dealing with it today no way this is ridiculous dude this is ridiculous i hate thorn bushes and yeah i will i will always hate thorn bushes and i will continue i will continue until my dying breath to tell you guys how much I hate the thorn bushes. Uh, you know what? I might just change this this channel, this channel's name to Thorn Bush Hate, and it'll just be hour and a half long, long uploads, like every single day, twice a day, with me just whining and complaining how much I hate thorn bushes, like I'm doing right now. Because I could, literally could talk about it for three hours a day. So, all right. <laughs> <laughs> all right and you know what i will tell you i will tell you guys the story the thornbush story of like why we hate them so much uh after this after this intent if we find anything like here here's one right here die stupid dull knife If anybody comments like, oh, you're destroying, Dan's destroying nature, then I don't know. I'll do nothing. I'll ignore your message and do nothing. But anyways, all right. All right. I'm done with that. I'm done with that. It's too much. All right. What do we got? Any we got anything? You guys hear that? You hear that? It's on the other side of the river. It's a pack of coyotes. I can hear them. They're going through the woods after something. Huh. Interesting. Yeah, I can hear them over there. Cool. Well, what do we got? Do we have anything? Have anything at all out here? Oh, this rock, dude, this rock's looking sketchy. Look how it, like, probably shouldn't walk on it. I'm going to. All right. Bingo. There we go. Found something. I don't know what that has to do with stalking the stalkers. But, ah, we do have something here. Kind of far off the point too. The point was like right right there. I guess it's not that far off the point. It's like some 
some weird porcelain thing, but they actually got like clothes on. It's oh, it's like it's like hard. That doesn't feel like cloth at all. It just feels like hard, nasty stuff. There's something in the bottom. It's like a piece of paper or some. I can I can see something's written on it. Let's take this over to the bench and we'll take a look at this. This seems to be grab and examine day today. We find an intent and we examine it. Ugh. Except for the ball, we didn't examine that. All right. Ugh. So I'll give you guys a look at this. I don't see anything really written on it. Just very odd, very odd thing. Yeah, it's a very, very odd knickknack. Then we got a message here. Let's see if I can set on my camera. There we go. Perfect. So at first glance, I see some writing right here, right at the bottom of this sheet of paper. Yo, we got some writing inside, but yeah, it's like, you guys see this? It's like, uh, I don't know. It's like, it's like something got cut off here. What is this? So what I'm seeing is it looks like, look at this, it looks like some type of compass. You can see south, west, east. It's got kind of that compass design. Have been where we came from, the south. See that? It says have been under these two points. And then where we came from the where we came from why was it in here does that is that any significance at all or it's really weird we have been where we came from so I'm missing obviously I'm, I'm missing half of this Could the other half be somewhere else? It's kind of making me think about running another another intent out here and seeing if I can't find the other half of this note. I don't know, what do you guys think? I think I should do it. I think I should look for the other half of this note. Where we came from have been. And a compass. There's something drawn in the middle of it. Might be just like a, an O or something. I don't know, dude. This is weird. Hmm. So we've gotten we've gotten some some notes today, and we got two in a row. We got that that code, and now we got this one, and it makes me wonder if it's like the thing is is like when stalkers leave me notes when they when they leave me stuff like this, it's usually very like aggressive. It's it's, very, it's usually worded like very like harshly, like we're gonna kill you, pretty much, like more or less, just like we're gonna kill you, like that's like the nicest stalkers note I've gotten, like. We're going to kill you. You're going to die. Like, we're coming after you. And these two haven't really been threatening. Although, I don't know what that coded one says. I don't even know if it's from the stalkers. I don't know nothing about that. 
just on that plate. That's really weird. But this one is just like, I don't know. It's kind of like, it's kind of where we came from have been. I don't know. I, I, I need to find the other half of this thing. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to set another intent and just and just just do the intent for the other the other half and see if it brings me anywhere here or close by. I am going to set my radius big though because it might be it might be somewhere else. Okay, uh, where's Rand? There's Rand Nautica. All right, all right. Get that radius cranked out. You know that's that's interesting because I think I think I'm gonna get something else. I bet I'll get something else here because I notice a lot of times with Rand Nautica there's patterns, and the pattern today was two two were in the uh, in the exact same the exact same spot, like within a hundred yards of each other. So I'm guessing the next two intents, this one and the next one I'm about to do, are going to be in the same spot as well. If, if it follows the pattern. Anyway, get that radius cranked out and generate. The other half. The other half. The other half. The other half. All right. Yeah, all right. It's it's got me going not too far away. Like easily walkable. So Yeah, it's actually right it's right over there. All right, guys, let's do it before we run out of light cuz this is the last one I'm doing and I don't want to do Red and Nautica today when it's dark. So yeah, let's head on over there. See if we can find the other half of this note or something else. And then uh, that'll be it for today. Leave your intentions down below for the next video. Forgot to say that earlier, so do it. <laughs>If I'm right, dude, you can see that we're losing light fast now. Ugh, if I'm right, we have found... We have found... Intense... Here before. The point's right over here. Man, dude, it's getting dark. It's getting darker by the minute, man. I need to hurry up. All right, we're at the point. We're about to be at the point. Yeah, it's right here. Okay, let's take a look around. <sighs> I don't see anything. really hoping that other half of that note would just be like front and center so I, never mind I spoke too soon hey how much you want to bet this is it get some light over here get out from behind this tree get some light yep dude this is it this is it. Here's the other half. Okay, where you will find us, north. Where we have been, okay. Where we have been, where you will find us. And yeah, look. There's a code, there's like a code or math equation or something on the back. I'm willing to bet it's a code. I'm not sure what though. So, okay. So we found two... We found two of these with codes on them now and more coded messages. All right, I left the, uh, oh, somebody else has got a bike out here. 
Yo, wait a second. No, dude, that's my bike. That's my bike. Bro, hey. Dude, are you fucking kidding me? Yo, what the f dude? Dude, fuck this stupid fucking app, man. I just sold my fucking bike. Fantastic, you guys saw it. This is, this dude, this is so dumb. Literally, I'm stranded literally an hour and a half from home in a park that's about to close or a forest preserve that's about to close. Literally just, just sitting here. I just text Max to see if he could come pick me up. Dude, this is ridiculous. This is absolutely ridiculous. And the thing was, is the handlebars were locked. Like I didn't, I didn't, I like I didn't leave them open. Like I didn't leave it unlocked. Nothing. I didn't leave the keys in the ignition. Nothing. And I know it was those stalkers too. I know it was the stalkers for sure. All right, well, uh, I'm gonna call Max, I just text him. I'm gonna call him, see if he can come get me. I'm gonna call, and I obviously have to call the cops, file a report on this. Somebody just straight up stole, like literally just stole my bike during Rain and Autica. Wow, this, this, is, this is really fun. This is, this, this is, oh man, this, this app is so sick. Dude, I love, I love doing Rain and Autica more than, more than anything, more than my motorcycle, that's for sure. I love Brandon Autica more than my motorcycle. You know, that's why I keep doing it. All right, I'll, I don't know, I'll catch up with you guys when I get home. Yeah. All right, guys, so I'm back at home now. Um, it was a process to get here. Um, I forgot, Max now works on, um, works today. He got his schedule shifted. So he wasn't able to come get me. He didn't even answer my uh, call and text he, until I was on the way home, which I mean, it's not his fault because he was working. So it's not like he can answer his phone, but, um, so I got one of my buddies from the area I was in doing Randonautica, gigantic shout out to you, I owe you one, um, to give me a ride back home. So he was kind enough to take three hours out of his day to shuttle me to my house. And then I, he's probably on his way back home now, but yeah. So, yep, as it unfolded, I called the police. Um, they came out, filed a report, and like, bike was stolen. I showed them the video. They had, they were wondering, like, they were like, what is, you know, what's, why were you filming? Like, what, not like, you know, interrogating me, just like curious. Like, why were you filming? I explained to them as best as I could, like, like I do these, I make these random nautica videos, like this and that. And then we went into like the details of like, how did the bike get taken? And I'm like, I don't know, because I know I locked the handlebars. I always do. Um, 
which for Harleys, it's like this, uh, it's like this block, like this metal block and it's your ignition and you turn it, like if you turn all the way to the left, it locks the handlebars. Then if you turn the middle, it's off. And then if you turn it to the right, it's, you turn on the ignition. And so, um, and then the key, the key is in the middle of that block and you put the key in it and then turn the key and it'll lock the handlebars or unlock them. Um, so yeah, I, I told him about all this, like, I was like, I don't know. And he's like, okay. Um, I, I didn't add in there that it could be, you know, a stalker. Cause like I've explained to you guys before, a lot of the time when we deal with the police, um, they don't take us as seriously as soon as they hear like we're making YouTube videos about, and then we get harassed by random Nautica stalkers. A lot of them are just like, what's that? Okay. These guys are just trying to, you know, film an interaction with us for the views or whatever. So, um, I did not mention the stalker. I don't think it would have helped because I don't even know where the guy's at. I don't even know what the guy's name is or what he looks like other than some guy with a black mask or um, with a rubber mask. I don't, I don't know who was out there tonight. Uh, I assume that it's somebody that has to do with the cult since they're leaving me these, these riddles. Or, uh, yeah, I don't know. So, filed the police report. They left to keep an eye out for it. Yeah, it sucks. So now I gotta wait, uh, what was it, like, I called my insurance too, I have to wait, what was it, 45 days I think? The bike has to be missing for 45 days until I can start the claim process to get it, um, taken care of by insurance. So, yeah, at least it happened when it did. Because if I was without a bike for 45 days at the beginning of the season, I would have been mad. But I don't know, dude. This is this this is just dumb. I'm in I'm in a lot better spirits <clears throat> than I than I was, of course. Um, just hanging out with a friend, just being in a little vent and bouncing some stuff off of him helped a lot. So I was glad he was able to uh, pick me up and take me home. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, it's ridiculous. So that's, that's kind of, you know, the general breakdown of what's going on with the bike, uh, everything like that. So let's get into this. I brought this home and uh, I taped together the two pieces of that, uh, of that thing that we found. So let's take a peek at that. Okay. So yeah, it's, you know, northeast, south, and west where we have been. There's some weird symbol right in the middle uh, where you will find us, where we came from. It's kind of, yeah, kind of, kind of odd, but, you know, whatever. Um, and then on the back, this is the, this is a really weird part. It's just a bunch of numbers. I'll give you guys a good look at it. So if you can't see, there we go. So you can't see, it looks like it's 20913591915162 maybe? Uh, two, I, I can't tell what that one is. 8551919511435. So I don't know if it's like a code or, or what. It doesn't really make a whole lot of sense. So I thought it might have something to do with this side, but it, it doesn't appear to. So that's why I definitely think it has something at least to do with these stalkers because they, they took me, they took me away. They put this intent in the woods. So I had to walk a little ways in the woods in order to get me away from my bike while they went and stole it. So. I don't know. I'm hoping that I can figure out the like those the code on that other one or what these numbers mean, which I might have an idea what these numbers mean. Um, and maybe that will help me like figure out where my bike is. 
Because knowing these guys, they didn't do anything with it. They probably still have it somewhere. Um, but we know they, they like to play games. So that's, I, I, like I said, I don't think they did anything with the bike. Like, they didn't take it to a chop shop or anything like that. They're just being annoying and just, you know, just doing it to aggravate me. So, but yeah, that about does it for today. Um, I'm exhausted. Uh, I just want to sit down. I'm going to edit this video, which I don't really want to do, but I'm going to. Um, and yeah. So that, that about does it, guys. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Let me know your thoughts, and let me definitely know if you have any solution to either of these codes or, like, clues or whatever. Because um, I could definitely use your help with that. Um, what else? Uh... Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna end it kind of quick here. Uh, I just, dude, I'm I'm like I feel like almost like falling asleep. You know, get something to drink and, um, and uh, yeah, sit down for a bit. Sit down, edit. Editing's actually like peaceful at times. Um, but yeah, guys, uh, thank you guys for watching. Let me know your thoughts on this. A uh, big shout out to our YouTube members and our patrons. You guys made tonight's video possible um make sure to go check out the, the merch link is in the description relentlessdark.square.site make sure to check out the new randonautica channel which is well the old new randonautica channel where i'm uploading our old videos in chronological order um for those of you who may not have seen it and if you have seen it please go go there and just just give it a sub for me if you could just give it a sub that would be that would be fantastic fantastic if you guys could all just all sub to it, that would that would that would make my night. So I really appreciate it. Um, what else? What else? What else? Join the Discord. Oh, we got a lot going on in there. And uh, yeah, I think that about does it. So I'll keep you guys posted. New video coming soon. I don't know if it'll be a random Nautica. And you guys, if you haven't seen the Dark Web Mystery Box video yet, go down there. Please show it some love and check it out. Share that video. Give it some thumbs up. Um, I, it, it has gotten a pretty good reception. I will be doing another Dark Web Mystery Box video. But we still have some views that we need to get on this one. So guys, if you could check out the, the Mystery Box video. Share it with a friend or somebody else that might be interested in it. I would be forever grateful. But okay guys, thank you again for everything. Thank you for your time and choosing to spend your time with me watching this watching this very interesting video um yeah but all right have a good night or day wherever you're at I'll keep you guys updated we'll see you soon on the next video peace out